After unplugging the refrigerator, remove the light shield by squeezing down on the top and bottom and pull the shield free. Remove the two screws at the bottom of the freezer air tower and lift the tower up and out. Next, remove the two screws on the evaporator cover located on either side of the fan. You may need to bow the evaporator cover outward to clear the ice maker receptacle and the screws on the left side wall of the freezer. To completely remove the evaporator cover, disconnect the light socket connection. Note the position of the fan blade on the motor shaft, as well as the pitch of the blade, before removing it so you can put it back in its original location for proper airflow. Also note that a loose-fitting fan blade would need to be replaced. Then disconnect the fan motor wiring to check the motor resistance. Refer to the specific refrigerator mini-manual for the proper resistance reading, as all motors are not the same. With the refrigerator plugged in, you can also use the alternate plug to carefully test for 120 volts going to the motor. Now, remove the two screws that secure the front motor bracket. When removing the motor, take note of the blue isolation grommets on both the front bracket as well as the back bracket, as they need to be retained and replaced before installing a new motor.